This demonstration is the meter stick and fingers. All you need is a meter stick, a person, and we're going to have a variation where we show you what happens when we change the center of mass of our object. This demonstration is used to illustrate torques, equilibrium, and how horizontal and vertical components of force interact with each other. So to begin with, we know by definition of equilibrium that all of the forces present in our system must add up to zero. And if the object is also not rotating, we know that all of the torques in our system must also equal zero. By definition, a torque is just the distance you are from the pivot point crossed with the force applied, or R, F, sine, theta, where theta is the angle between the, di the um, position and the direction of the force. If we look at our situation of the meter stick, we know that the force of gravity acts at the center of mass of any object. Therefore, for a uniform meter stick, that will be at the center. And we are going to be setting this meter stick on our fingers. Therefore, each finger will apply a force as well. Finger one will apply a force going up on um, one side of the center of mass. And that is a distance x1 from that. And then your second finger will apply a force on the opposite side of the meter stick at some distance x2 from the center of mass. So if we do our free body diagram and look at all of the forces in the y component, we know that the force applied by finger 1 plus the force applied by finger 2 minus the force of gravity must equal 0 because, again, our object is not moving. If we then go ahead and look at the torques of the system, we know that the force of finger 1 times the distance it's away from the center of mass times the sine of the angle between, well, we know that this is a 90 degree angle, so the sine of the angle is 1. So there's our torque applied by finger 1. Finger 2 applies a torque of um, the force times the distance, but this is now on the opposite side, so we can introduce a negative because it's going to be rotating in the opposite direction as what would happen if force 1 dominated. And then our last torque is what's happening at the center of mass. Therefore, that is minus the weight of the um, stick times the distance from the center of mass, which is 0. And this, again, all equals 0 because the system is not rotating. If we then solve this equation, we simply get that the force applied by finger 1 times the distance it's away from the center of mass must equal the force applied by finger 2 times the distance it is away from the center of mass. Now that we know what's happening in the y direction, we can describe what's happening in the x direction. If we place the meter stick on our hands, we're going to be applying a horizontal force to bring our hands to the center of mass. How can we describe this horizontal force? Simply with the force of friction. The force of friction is just the coefficient of friction times the normal force between your finger and the meter stick. As the um, finger is close to the center of mass, the force of friction is very large. The further the finger is away from the center of mass, the lower the um, frictional force. Therefore, as you are pushing the two hands together, the hand that is closest to the center of mass, the, the meter stick will stick to it, being that the force is lower than, the, than what can overcome the um, static coefficient of friction, while the other side will slip until it has reached a point where the force can no longer overcome the coefficient of friction. Once you get to the center of mass, you have then found the point where all of the forces are equal and uh, balanced. To start the demonstration, all I have to do is pick up the meter stick and place it on the ends of my, uh, uh, my fingers on the end, and I'm going to, at the same time, try to apply a force by both hands as I'm pushing towards the center. Observe what's happening between each the hand and the stick. As you can see, I have hit the center of the meter stick, which is exactly what we predicted our center of mass to be. So this is a way that you can determine the center of mass of any object, whether or not the object itself is a uniform um, system. So to, to give you an idea of how that would work, if I place the mass that I have provided on one side of the meter stick, 
and I start with my hands on opposite sides, this meter stick is now no longer uniform from one side to the other, but now there's a larger mass on your left side of the meter stick. So if I start to move my hands together, you now see that the center of mass is no longer at the center of the meter stick, but skewed to one side due to this mass on the end. But again, our idea of being able to find the center of mass by canceling out all of the forces and all of the torques, we are able to still find our center of mass. Again at the center. and again skewed by the center of mass.